Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot, and after an epic break, I'm finally getting around to making a new Let's Play. My gravest apologies for the delay, but everyone was sick, and everything terrible happened, and now I'm back, and everything's fine. So, I hope everything's great with you guys too. We're going to be playing some Total War Warhammer 2 with the Steel Faith Overhaul, as you can clearly see. Uh, I whipped up a list of the mods I'm using, just in case you guys think this is awesome. Uh, and that is in alphabetical order, the faster end turn camera, improved border colors, JR's old world skill overhaul, and JR's Old World Skill Overhaul, Steel Faith Overhaul Patch. I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> um, Sebedee's No Great Power Penalty, that removes the diplomatic penalty if you're a great power, which I think SFO might already have, Steel Faith Overhaul, but um, I don't know, so it's turned on. And... Uh, Sebedee's unit resize, which randomizes the size of units inside the game. So, like, you have short people and tall people inside your unit. I haven't really seen if it's made a difference, but whatever, it's on. Skip intro logos, because I definitely know CA made this game. And lastly, not least, of course, Steel Faith Overhaul. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The two critical... Mods here are Steel Faith Overhaul and Old World Skill Patch because you can use the, the Old World factions successfully. So I'm going to start a new campaign of Mortal Empires. I started a game yesterday um, as Isabella and it went pretty well. It uh, I pushed northwards. Well, let's get started and we'll see. We'll talk about it as we're loading. I picked Isabella because she has the nicest hair and the glowiest blue eyes. Uh, and also because she has really awesome bonuses to fell bats, which are super cool, and other horrible monsters. So I'm excited about the potential. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, um... Because this is old world stuff, you get access to the second legendary lord relatively quickly. Um, but if you'll notice up here, my income is negative because uh, Steel Faith Overhaul is incredibly brutal. Uh, primarily, it's lots of things are much more expensive than they were, and well, everything's just different, so I'm still learning it. I played, I played, like I said, Isabella, I pushed up here, I grabbed uh, Castle Templehof and Fort Oberus, Ober, Steyr, Bree, it's definitely not that. This is super German, Templehof, Eschen, Fragenhof, <laughs> Oberst, Oberstüre, who knows. Um... And this time I'm going to try pushing directly on Castle of Tarkenhof because I think the Vampire Gaunts only have one building, or one settlement, So if, and I only, I only want to settle in two. It's a different province, which is not great, but if I can push in, grab it out from under Manfred's nose, and then, well, have it, uh, I'll have a second capital, actually a first capital since Tarkenhof is the capital, and I will... Um, well, I, I should have a better start. What happened last time is I grabbed these two these two settlements up here, and then I threw my Vargeists in the trash, because the Vargeists cost uh, 454 <laughs> per turn upkeep, and I believe their recruitment costs... Okay, it's 2,000 here, so that's four turns. So if I don't need them for four turns, if I'm not expecting battle for four turns, then... Then they've already paid for themselves, economically speaking. Disband even has. So, that's what I did. Uh, and it, it worked out. I had a more robust economy. I was upgrading my settlements and so forth. But I went on the internet and chatted with some people. And they said, no, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. Be super aggressive. You need those Vargeists. They, uh, they kick butt. So, 
the plan here is to blow all of our money raising and recruiting and I can also recruit next turn or raise next turn right before I make the push on onto uh, Darkenhof and I know that Manfred or Manfred whatever is gonna he's gonna go into his little village so what's he gonna have let's look um, zombies oh Vargulf oh gosh that's absolutely terrifying Probably have to send my three vampire heroes after that. And here we've got skeleton spearmen, whatever, crypt ghouls, less whatever, but also not critical. A um, couple of fell bats and two units of bar geists. It's really hard to tell. So, not unbeatable, but 12 plus 8, 20 units versus. Oh, I should have around 20. With walls, so I'm at a disadvantage. Right, and I can't just grab. Oh my gosh, could I grab three Vargeists? No, I'll run out of money and then I'll suffer attrition. I'll run out of money anyway. I'm gonna remember, I need to leave about a thousand. So that means... Uh, this is gonna end in absolute tragedy. Plus eight melee defense for Felbats. Okay. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take dire wolves because most of these units don't have any armor. Not black knights, obviously, but zombies and crypt ghouls and stuff. So we're gonna grab two dire wolves and a fell guy, and these two, and these two, which will put me at to do 2,500 or so. And next turn, I'll grab one whatever is available to raise when I move over here. And then we'll try really hard. I think we're going to need to snag these battle uh, techs. <laughs> battle techs. We're going to fight with giant robot bikes. We're going to need to bad grab the battle techs before we head for the econ techs. I guess I can stop scrolling around super hard. So this is bonuses to fell bats and dire bats. More fell bats. Oh, dire wolves. More dire wolves. Vargeists, Vargulfs, and Vargeists. Plus two unit experience for everything in this tree. Wolves, bats, Vargeists, and Vargulfs. Then Vargulfs, and then Terrorgeists. Not an amazing bonus for Terrorgeists, but, um, you know. And this is all econ, so plus uh, income, more bonus income, corruption, and public order. That's not income unless you count high level buildings for that, and so on and so forth. Um, over here we have the books related to really terrible units, so skeletons and zombies, uh, which is upkeep minus 50% for zombies, that's pretty wild. That just means you can, and recruitment cost minus 50%, you can just pull massive amounts of zombies out of the ground and um, yeah, support them with a couple of, of uh, cav here and just do a classic hammer and anvil and then this is um the ghoul and and ghost units they yeah blah 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 nothing particularly exciting this one's neat campaign movement range everyone loves that oh so we're gonna grab de noirvo's blasphemous bestiary and uh we're gonna ooh, we want to save this money to raise units next turn or do we already want to invest in more money? Given that I'm going to lose a thousand money on the turn, I think I'm going to need to save it. If at worst it'll put us one turn behind. Um, yeah, so off he goes. Theoretically, we'll have 20 units against his 20 units, and he'll have walls, but we have the advantage of being smarty pants humans. He's just a silly robot. So, oh, I gotta change these cameras. Uh, okay, neutral factions go really fast. Enemy factions go moderately fast. Allied factions also go moderately fast. Okay, go. Yeah, so Vlad is available now, which is a good choice if I can afford him. Um, because he's got the, uh, a fancy bonus. Where's that trait? Because the fancy bonus is not really self-explanatory. 
the fancy bonus is where's the, the the most beloved of loves thing oh well regardless um if vlad and isabella are reinforcing each other they both get plus 15 melee attack and plus 15 melee defense which is pretty solid so we can pick up another zombie here or or oh excellent a skeleton okay and we're gonna do this this is gonna be the first and only battle possibly the first and only battle of this playthrough oh no i have to build things that's okay because he can't if he doesn't push out i could just siege but i will run out of money and die okay one turn one turn okay i didn't even consider that you know it, it's important to <laughs> have siege equipment son of a gun i have all these flying units like i think i could push it but who can attack gates literally no one i need the battering ram okay yeah low funds i know there's not much to be done there I th i'm not sure if the negative funds um like how negative your funds are affect how badly you how bad the attrition is but we'll see theoretically next turn okay there we go um i'm not even gonna buy the quick save because if it doesn't work oh no i can't we're gonna try it if it doesn't work we're gonna try it one more time this is good he's sallying forth that means we're not on he doesn't have walls okay we're going to focus Manfred with our three hero units. So we're going to swoop him around to the side. Okay, and his... Um, yeah, this is not not great. I had another battle the other day where the reinforcements came from over here. And so I set up like one line with just meat shields and one of my heroes, and she held off the entire army um, well, until I finished the, the primary half of it. Which worked, except um, the hero died, and she did not have immortality because she was not, not anywhere near level 20. This was like turn 15. Okay, so basic strategy. The bats are going to go... Um, yeah, we'll do zombies on either side. The bats are going to go be flankers by flying over the main enemy lines. So they're just going to fly straight over because I'm fighting vampire counts, right? They don't have any ranged units. So these guys are going to engage as a big group. They're going to fight a line. Oh, I don't have my drawing tools. They're going to fight a line here, and then bats are going to fly over and pull back. While... Um, while my heroes flank around and assassinate Vlad. Which... If I were online, people would be calling cheese. I'm going to keep my... Why, why are you shaped so weird? Is there something in the way there? Oh, there is. <laughs> oh my god, it's a little tiny terrain feature. It is a rock. Great. All right, let's not... There, we don't have to avoid the rock. Two Vargeists. Okay, these guys are going to have to go over here. I think the Vargeists are going to have to come on this side in order to distract. And I think they're going to have to work with the Direwolves to be distracting from, from this. And everyone else is going to push forward. Heroes are going to swoop around. Um, single target regeneration. Plus 34 melee attack is really good. Uh, Mystifying Miasma is good against groups. And Spirit Leech is what we're going to use to kill... Vlad. Okay. I'm gonna lock these guys because zombies are slow. Oh gosh, the Vargulf. And we're gonna. They're just gonna push in. Are these guys anti large? Of course not. Cav. Let's just put those on slow. Heroes. Where did I put my bats? Oh, frickity frick. They're pretty quick, though. We'll be okay. Let's 
see if I can do some harassing and assassination here. Oh, who's wounded? Quick ghouls, huh? Okay. Oh, this is so slow. Uh, I need Spirit Leech, and Vlad is there. Oop. so many units. I think we could maybe just sort of taunt them a bit. Oops, that's bad. Okay, no, that's not so bad. Um, guys with swords, go there. You guys swoop around. Nope, swoop around. Nope, swoop around. Oh, can you get a nice charge off? Okay, and... No, oh, Isabella, don't die. Oh, that Vargulf. Slaughtering me. Um, what's going on over here? Oh, those are flying units. Wait, you know what? I think I'm gonna need my... Let's pause. I'm gonna... Oh, my fell bats, why? Why am I doing this with my fell bats? Jeez, guys. Okay, let's check out what's going on here. The Vargulf is low. Where's Manfred? He's right there. He's at full health. Think. Okay. No, attack. Thank you. You are going to attack Manfred with my. Okay, they've just charged in. They're going to pull another charge. You guys are going to go in here. You guys are going to go in there. You guys are going to go. In here. Oh, you know what? If these guys land, can I pull you back and keep you forward? And over here, we're just gonna try to deal as much damage in just a short amount of time as we can. This is not great. TBH. Rawr. Attack, 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 attack. Pull back. Uh, what's going on over here? Girl with Spirit Leech needs to target Vlad. No, Manfred. Okay, that's not going so badly. This isn't going great. Pull around. Charge into the rear there. Who's severely wounded? Invocation. I want to dance macabre is a good idea. Okay, let's pull these guys back. Let's pull these guys out if they can. What is this going on? Attack! Did I get him? No, he still has like full health. What the heck, guys? Spearman, kill the Vargulf. Cav, try to do something useful. Oh, this is not even working a little bit. Holy heck. Uh, ungroup these. Does Manfred really have full life? No, I killed him. Okay, this, that's potentially a victory. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are bad guys that are failing, which is great news. Okay, that means you keep fighting. You're up in the air, which is too bad. You're going to push there. You guys are going to push here. Uh... Still needs to need to kill these freaking zombies, but hit up the Vargulf. Uh, oh, that would have been a good idea to use on said Vargulf hours ago. But I can maybe hit up some cruddy spearmen. Oh my word. Okay, 
let's just keep going. See what we can do. Um, miasma, perhaps? Oh, they have three Varg guys, so maybe that's part of the issue. I think we're going to need to pull back a little bit here. Kind of need to send these guys in. Oh my gosh. Utter chaos. Okay, the Vargas guys do not have regeneration. Three bats are going to kill the zombies. These bats are going to kill those bats. These bats are flying and can't be killed. Two units of our guys are killing those of our guys. These bats are going to pull back. Those spearmen are screwed. These crypt ghouls and these crypt ghouls will do battle. My three hero units are going to push in on these crypt ghouls. Okay, they still have a lot of units, but they're low binding because of the... Okay, those units are gone. Need these guys to pull out. So they are injured. Pull out the other way would be better. Okay. Okay, whoa, we need to make a line. Um, bats. Zoop. Vargeists. These Vargeists need to chill for a little bit. Stay where you are, because you need to recover leadership. Um, these bar guys are going to hit here. These guys are going to hit there. The miasma is going to just go right to the middle of everything. Spearmen can hopefully kill the Vargeists. Black Knights need to move in for a charge. Hellbats are moving out, and what's our third unit here? More Hellbats? Okay, they're all moving out, so just the Spearmen there, which is okay. I'm gonna group these all. Everyone's going to pick a target. Okay, Spearmen are going here. Charge is going in. Um, I would absolutely love to have an AoE anything like buff, but we just do not have that. Some sort of terror or something. Oh, Black Knights, pull out. You're being terrible. And then go ahead and do a push in there. Good charging. Get your get your feelings back on track. Miasma. We are immortal. Your desire. Oh, it's so close. It's such a close battle. It's ridiculous. Come on, Crypt Ghouls, go away. So many hit points. Uh, oh, I still have you guys. Oh no, not not the spears. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to hit the spears, aren't we? I'm in your I'm not gonna try to miasma whoever has the most hit points here. The bloody spearmen. Yes, victories in our grass. Oh my gosh, team. Even given significant tactical mistakes, now and again, pause. Disintegrating. Above shattered.
Oh, if above minus 170, wowza. So they were almost constantly at, oh, I guess that's sort of, whatever. Victory. Glorious, glorious victory. It wasn't Pyrrhic, because I don't have the money to pay for those units anyway. Okay, so the dire wolves completely sacrificed themselves. I completely forgot they were doing something. <laughs> These bats, some of whom completely ate face and got killed. Oh, I only lost one unit of fell bats. Not bad. Three no, those crypt ghouls, which is disappointing. A little bit better. Skeleton warriors are absolutely whatever. Skeleton spearmen are also absolutely whatever. Both direwolves survived. I bet they fled. Black Knight survived with 115 kills. Look at this fell bat. 75 kills? This guy's a hero. I'm going to name that. Name that unit. I'm gonna name the city <laughs> Castle Feldats. Uh, Five percent for killing that many units. Well, whatever. So hopefully, um, depending on how the income worked out, maybe we have enough money to grab like. Oh no, they have zero. Oh, you, you are. Oh, you gotta be. Come on. Sir? Sir? Hey, look, I had money. <laughs> okay. We are gonna take the rumors are true. Because this is gonna make the game harder. And I hate myself. This is a SFO event. Which, um, yeah. It does this. Empire factions cannot declare war on each other. And Kislev. Or it's just normal. I think it sounds fun. So, let's see. What do we have? We don't have a lot of units. We can't recruit anything. Yeah, but we can raise three units of zombies. And oh, come on. you got to be... What? Why? Oh, that's that's pretty... That's pretty uncool. Let's... Let's try this, but I'm pretty, pretty irritated with how that turned out. Man, what the heckity heck? <sighs> That's <sighs> I don't even know how to express like how I feel about this. I guess it's just stupid. I'm running negative a thousand. I mean, I know they have more settlements than I do, but they already have two. Boah. That's, that's really frustrating. I mean, if they didn't have a garrison, I would say sure. But I feel like having a garrison at half-life, literally the turn you take a settlement, is is pretty BS. I mean, we just fought our butts off to take Castle of Drakenhol. And now we would have to do it again. <sighs> Obviously, there's nothing we can do. Oh, some seats constructions. What a fantastic. We're not going to have enough money. We're going to experience attrition. They're probably going to push out and try to attack us. And we're going to lose because... I think that one thing that they should definitely have put in the game, which also happens in uh, in vanilla, is that when you um, when you are defeated by a sallying army, they should just give you a settlement. Like you should just get to choose what to do with it. Not when Isabella fell. So, okay. Well, we are we are gonna call this because this is obviously a absolutely infuriating situation to be in and uh, I'm gonna try a different playthrough where I guess I just push this way I'll keep my var guys because the internet told me to and they're obviously useful but um, wait why does Castle Drakenhof now only have four units hold on a second did it not update like
This is before the battle, isn't it? And this is going to be... This is before the end of my turn. The, the, am I... Is that not how we load things? Oh, I saved over it. <laughs> oh, my word. That's got to be... That's got to be the saddest coincidence, because I could have changed the way I ended my turn and switched to, like... <laughs> replenishment or something. Had one turn of replenishment and it hit them when they only had four units of the garrison. Uh, yeah. Should we fight the battle again, guys? Dang it. <sighs> I guess we should. Maybe I can pay a little bit more attention to what's going on here. Maybe drag them... It'd be good if I could maybe separate. Um, I, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna not hard lock these guys because the zombies are gonna come in late because they're slow, right? In fact, I think I'm just gonna dump them over here and try to push them in this direction. But this time we're not gonna forget our bats. They're gonna come in for the flanking. We're gonna get both our sets of vargeists to ravage the stuffing out of what's his face because they do a lot of damage right which is going to be helpful i think i think that manfred is relatively well armored but it's just going to have to be sufficient and we're of course going to have our three heroes so doot 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 we're going to hard group these the locked group gonna move these over here it doesn't really matter um, Isabella and co are going to move up dread Knights are moving up dire wolves are moving up uh, fell bats are Ooh, I wonder if I can just go ahead and put them there I can make them on slow mode too they don't hurry. As far as I know, flying units travel the same speed regardless of whether you make them hurry or not. And I think I'm going to save this until we see that Manfred is, like, falling. Because doesn't he have generate or some garbage? Probably just cast invocation of Mehikam, so. What the heck? So Isabella's going to pull back a little bit. Spirit Leech against bats? You're a madman. And there's the Vargulf. Oh, let me just go ahead and attack their bats with all my bats. These three units are pushing in there. These two are going to hit the Vargulf. Spearmen were supposed to be on that side, but they're not. These guys are charging in. Is it worth hitting the Vargulf? No. And Spirit Leech on, on Manfred. Pause. Nope, not what I wanted. I hit the Vargeists. Dang it. Okay, these guys are gonna hit the zombies. These guys are gonna hit Skeleton Warriors. Attack Black Knights. Hey, yeah, I can also hit the zombies. Right? Yeah, I'll pull these out first so the skeleton the zombies can get their charge in. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me just go for crit ghouls. I don't have much armor. And these guys really want to hit that single unit of um Oh the the Vargulf. Uh, let's give this a try. Oh, mystifying miasma is not so useful right now. We have a crud ton of um, mana. Spirit Leech on Manfred. Okay, anything terrible happening? Yes, these guys are not attacking, which is terrible. Pause. Uh, you're gonna hit you. You're gonna hit you. You're gonna go here and try to turn. 
I'm gonna go here and try to turn. I should have selected these guys better, but that's what we were gonna do. And one of them does not have attack order, right? Oh, no, they all do. Okay. Let's make sure the crypt pools survive. Argeists, Manfred is almost dead. The Vargal is, however, completely alive. Okay, let's keep pushing until Manfred is dead. Can we get another Spirit Leech on him? No, not yet. And we would still like for these Spearmen to come over here. Come on. Here's my Spirit Leech. Spears on the Vargulf. Um. What? Where? No, you guys. Kill Manfred. Okay, he died. Okay, pull back. I hope my zombies died. Uh, bats need to all pull out. Um, Isabella could throw down a heal on some black knights who should have charged repeatedly instead of being used poorly. Miasma needs to go down. Miasma, where are you? Oh my word, this is not going super well. Look, they're all fallen, which is nice. Um, push there. Oh no, Isabella, you don't have a heal. Dance Macabre on one of these guys. Who I assume are attacking people. One hopes. Okay, can we pull out a little bit? Yes, I can. What I, oh, the Vargulf is still alive. Okay, but he's deteriorating. Good, dead, out of the Vargeists. Pull these guys back. Um, how are my... Let's go this way instead. Push. Oh my word, this is not going very well. Comparatively. Down another miasma. A uh, unit has been wiped out. This is all bad guys over here. Oh no. Okay, so basically, my only hope is these three hero units who need to kill these Vargeists. In fact, we probably all just need to kill the Vargeists. And Isabella Destra needs to throw down a heal on the last of our geists. Or probably better yet, would have been a heal on Emanuela. Who is totally going to die. Oh, that's that was the duration. My one unit of spearmen. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I guess I'll throw it on a buff on the other girl. Now we can only hope. These guys still have a bunch of leadership. Lord dead, base value, charging flank secure. Hmm. Guess we'll just speed this up. Not a lot to do here. I assume my units will fight with, with moderate competence. No reserves left? Yeah, charge depleted. Okay. Uh, Isabella died. Oh, well, this was an insanely disappointing way for this to go, especially since I had actually managed to win the battle previously. Um, 
I'm not exactly sure what I did differently. Obviously, the um, ironically leaving the bats like out of it seemed to help. I wonder if they chased the zombies significantly. Oh, that's probably why some of those guys lived. Because uh, the zombies rose again. Okay, well, I still would like to play vampires at some point. So we are going to try again. But um, that's going to be next episode. This has been an incredibly long episode, which turned out to be pretty disappointing. So <laughs> for me, maybe you guys liked it. I was sad. Um, it doesn't matter. The rumors are so true. So, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.